Air conditioning, third video on this 2017 Honda Civic. So right now, I'm completely using Bluetooth wireless sensors, no gauges at all. I just wanted to show you the setup again because I've been asked more and more about doing more of the Bluetooth wireless stuff. So that's what I've been trying to do, just to show you. So right here, what you're looking at is the high side and low side pressure. And doesn't it almost look like a digital lab scope reading? not an analog one it's almost straight up and down that's because that's the digital signal going to the control solenoid to the compressor so you have the compressor control valve and it's commanded with uh, post, du post uh, duty cycle driving the valve and it's driving it off and on off and on so you're getting more and less swash plate play to give more and less displacement to maintain the pressures so let's get back here and go away. And so right now we're running, this is what it's running at right now. So look at the subcooling. Four, that was in when the cycle is at one method. Then it's going up to almost seven. Watch the superheat. And it's going through this little, actually I'll, I'll duty cycle it out. And Here's your temperature, 48 degrees out of the dash. If you look at it, it's just like dead straight. Okay, so what I'm gonna do for you is I'm going to change this over to, come on, superheat. Where's our superheat? Give me a superheat. Superheat. There's the superheat. Now, as it varies the displacement of the compressor we've seen the superheat swing up and down now this is how the superheat is going the superheat is not steady it's constantly searching up and down up and down up and down because the computer is driving the duty cycle of the compressor control valve to change the displacement of the compressor and that's what you're seeing in this situation on this vehicle not all vehicles on this vehicle the fans are staying on constant. They're not moving at all. There's no there's no on off and there's no driving the circuit up and driving the circuit where the fan goes faster and lower. If you change the air, air, air speed, air volume over a condenser or evaporator is king. You cannot charge a system that has a constant change of, if you're trying to guess superheat subcooling on residential systems and some commercial systems, you would do that, but you wouldn't do it with a condenser fan that was constantly chasing around on you because your superheat and subcooling would be all over the place. Your, your pressures and temperatures would be all over the place. Same if you had a modulating changing evaporator that had a coil fan that was constantly going up and down, trying to keep some sort of optimal uh, flow with a parameter set by a computer taking over, no. When you're in, say, residential, you have systems that you override and you put them in a test mode and they have pre-programmed into them where they set the outdoor condenser, they set the blower speed, they set the compressor and they set all the parameters so you can drive it into a test mode and then you go look at the superheat and subcooling. In automotive, they don't do that for us yet and I hope in the future they will re-release some software that you can put it in test mode. So when you have these heat pumps on these electric vehicles and hybrid vehicles, we can do on, automob on automobiles what we can do on residential and commercial. Say you have a Samsung or a Daikin, LG, Panasonic, any of those big VFR systems, there's a test mode. And that's exactly what we need on cars. All right, guys, I'll see you later, and uh, I'll sign out here. I got a call trying desperately to get him through.